Hey guys, so I have just watched the trailer there a couple of times of the new series that has just been sort of spoke about that is coming out by Matt Groening or Groening or <laughs> however you want to pronounce it and it's going to be called Disenchantment and it's due to come out on Netflix on the 17th of August this month. Now it might sound like a bit of a strange thing for me to say. Could it be possible that it could maybe take place in the Simpsons and Futurama universe, that there's some sort of like universe of that Matt Groening's sort of done. Because obviously Matt Groening, if you don't know this now, um, he actually created both The Simpsons and Futurama. I love both Futurama and I love The Simpsons as well. I love the fact that Futurama is really futuristic and it's really cool and it sort of makes you sort of have an insight into sort of thinking, oh, I wonder is this what the world could be like in space, you know, in the future, and oh, how cool. It makes you look at it and think, that looks really awesome. But anyways, guys, back on track. I don't know, it just kind of seems like, you know, I've seen the trailer and it looks like a medieval sort of type place with like a large castle. First of all, the animation, of course, is very similar to Futurama because it's the same person that does it of course, Matt does the same, but I think it's, I don't know, it just to me, even before I clicked on the trailer and just saw the actual image on the thumbnail, it just looked way too much Futurama to me, and uh, uh, the, the trailer first of all is short guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trailer at the end of this video, so that if you haven't seen it, you can have a look for yourselves and see what you think, but for me, I don't know, I just think he could have tried something a bit different because before I even clicked on it, it looked straight away to me, it just looked exactly like Futurama, it screamed Futurama. Not that there's anything wrong with that, Um, I'm not trying to voice any issues here, I'm just saying that yeah, he could have did something a bit different. It looks more sort of enchanted and sort of different in, in a sense of the location or time that it was made or whatever. But. I don't know, I'm just once sitting here wondering after watching the trailer, I just got this really strange thought in my mind. This is just my initial thought, guys. Might not be thinking like this in an hour or two. <laughs> but I just sort of wondered, like, is there some sort of link with The Simpsons, Futurama, and now this disenchantment? I mean, let me know what you think of the name. I do like the name. It is nice to see that he's doing something new, but that kind of concerns me too, because that, that makes me kind of go... Well, he's not probably going to have the time now to work on a Simpsons movie. But it has also made me think, guys, why didn't he put the time into bringing out a second Simpsons movie, considering at least Sim or sorry, Maggie Simpson, sorry, at the end of the Simpsons movie, said sequel. And well, Maggie, where is the sequel? Haven't seen it. So maybe you know I might have preferred to see another Simpson movie to be honest. Or maybe do you think it would be kind of cool if instead. Matt Groening had of made the decision to make a Simpsons movie maybe every three or four years. I think that's something I probably would have looked forward to even more so because we've got lots of seasons of The Simpsons. We have so many. We have Futurama seasons. I mean, I just would have preferred to have seen like a movie. I don't know. But back to the trailer, which I'm going to show you is at the end of my video and you can have a watch away at that. I just think that it the only difference between it and Futurama was slightly the drawn style on it or something whatever way it looked like it was done but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a photograph up of the very first season of Futurama now and the very first episode now as you can see if you haven't watched Futurama what happened in this episode basically what happened was Fry ended up in the future Fry is who you can see in this photograph but guys, look at the background. Does that not look completely like a medieval castle? Because that's exactly what it looks like to me, guys. So I think I'm actually definitely on something here. I'm definitely feeling like I'm actually on something here for once. So I think that definitely looks very metal, medieval-esque. I can't even speak. Medieval-esque, yeah. Yeah, Julie. You know what you're talking about. You really know what you're talking about. Yes. I'm going on that guys, I'm actually starting to convince myself for more talk about this, but yeah, I'm such an idiot, but no seriously, what do you think, or am I just being crazy, as I am most days of the week, or let me know what you think, but I also, in the trailer, I mean it is a short trailer, but I didn't laugh once, 
and I'm not just saying that guys, I really wanted to give it a chance, but I didn't laugh once, I didn't find it funny in any way, shape or form, and didn't say it didn't look good, it looks good guys, I am happy to see what it's going to be like, and am I going to give it a chance, well, absolutely, why not, let's see how it goes, Um, because I mean, he, he's created brilliant stuff, he's created Futurama, he's created The Simpsons, yeah, absolutely, I'll give it a go and see what happens. Um, but it's hard to sort of know. It was a short trailer. I would like to see another trailer, please, Matt Groening, and see what it looks like. Um, I, I know it sounds very silly, but for some reason, I'm not saying that it looked like him, but it reminded me of him. There is a thing that you'll see in the trailer. I don't know what the character is, but it's like a, a black thing that's running around. It has a tail that looks like... It just reminded me of the um, robot devil that's in some of the episodes of Futurama. I think that it looks good, the animation looks good, but, you know, I'm not trying to say anything bad, but yeah, it, it it's very much like Futurama. Again, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I don't really know what to say about how I feel about it because I haven't seen it yet. And I can't judge something that I haven't seen yet, so I will give my proper honest opinion upon when I actually watch this. But seriously guys, just look once again at the photo and look behind Fry in this Futurama season one, episode one of Futurama. What does that look like to you? That looks to me very medieval-y or medieval esque I'm just making up words now. But it looks very medieval guys and it looks like, ca like some sort of castle-y type place. So yeah, there's something going on here, guys. There's more than meets the eye to this, I think. And yeah, there's something going on here between the three of them, The Simpsons, Futurama, and the disenchantment that's going to be coming out. So, I don't know. I'll have to wait till later on in the month to see what I think. Are you as excited to watch this yourselves, guys? Also, are you more of a Futurama fan or are you more of a Simpsons fan or do you like both just the same? Let me know down in the comments below if I had to choose simply because of nostalgia and because I've watched it since I was really young, since I was a kid, I would say that The Simpsons is my favourite but Futurama is absolutely freaking awesome. So anyways guys, I'm going to go. Uh, it's getting... What time is it? It is 25 minutes to 10 at the moment, so I'm going to get to editing this and putting a few photos up on that and get the trailer added in now. So I'm going to show you the Your trailers now, is guys. requested at the royal wedding of Prince Giesbert of Bentwood and Princess Bean. Do you take this man to be your husband? No! Oh my god. This is a bad time to be coming down off of that high. So how'd it go? I want to be in charge of my own destiny. I want to see the outside world. I want to get rid of all the diseases plaguing mankind and replace them with worse ones. Being young. Out of control. I don't even know what to yell at you. I'm not so bad. Well, you did kill that one guy. I'd be fine if someone could just slide my head up a bit. Isn't there a point in everyone's life where they need to go and figure out who they are? Woo, I'm a good butcher. This is a pet shop. What's this feeling I don't want to drink away? That's hope. The trick to not getting swept over the waterfall is swimming upstream. Got it. You can do anything if you believe in yourself. Ah! 